So I just refreshed my hair today and although it's still looking kind of dry, I am not complaining. I feel like this is still a good hair day for me considering the previous state of my hair. Today I am feeling extra masipag. I will be sharing with you some of the things that I've learned so far, well, two weeks into CGM. I've learned that curly hair is extremely prone to dryness. So usually curly hair means dry hair. So it's not really advisable and it's not recommended to uh, wash your hair every day. But of course with the pandemic, we have to adjust our routine as a precaution. So if you are someone who works at a hospital or a clinic, if you take public transportation, or if you are exposed to crowded places, or if you, you just go out. Then the moment that you come home, you have to do the complete wash. You have to do the shampoo and conditioner and then the rest of the routine. If you have to do this every single day, most likely your hair would be experiencing dryness. It will definitely delay your goals of you know getting healthy curls, but as a precaution, it's something we have to do. I will be sharing with you the hair care routine that I'm currently following now that I'm doing CGM. I will be starting off by introducing you to three terminologies. First is your wash days, second, co-wash days, and then third, refresh days. So my routine would be, Sundays would be my wash day. And since I'm just at home, then my co-wash days can either be done on Wednesdays and Fridays. Or whenever I feel like I have a I have product buildup. In between those days, I would just refresh my hair. Wash days are usually done just once a week. On wash days, these are the things that you would do and products that you would use. First, you would use your shampoo. After shampooing your hair, since your hair would be a little dry, the second step would be deep conditioning your hair. After deep conditioning your hair, you will then use a regular conditioner and that's when you would do the squish the condition method in order to form your curls. And since the conditioner that I'm using does not feel heavy on the hair, I also use it as a leave-in conditioner. So I no longer rinse my hair when I use the regular conditioner. I squish it to take out the excess water and then that's when I style it by using a water-based gel which also does not feel heavy on the hair. And after applying my gel, again, I still do the scrunching. I scrunch it with a microfiber towel. I plop it and then you would either air dry it or diffuse it and you're done for the day. It may sound tedious, but again, you would only do this once a week. On co-wash days, this is when you completely wet your hair and then you lather on your conditioner thoroughly massage your scalp to try to clean up your product buildup if there if there's any and then rinse it off and then since I don't have a leave-in conditioner I use the same conditioner mix it with water pour it on my hair and then I do the squish to condition for a couple of minutes after that I apply a little bit of gel I, I scrunch it using a microfiber towel to remove excess water and excess gel plop it and I either air dry it or diffuse it. When I don't co-wash, I usually just refresh my hair. I do this by mixing water and conditioner in a spray bottle. I spray it on my hair until it gets a little damp. And then after that, depending na lang if I want to apply a little bit more of a little more styler yung gel or if I just scrunch my hair. And then again, microfiber microfiber towel to take out the excess water. Plop it and then either air dry it or diffuse it. Now I will be sharing with you the usual products that are used when you are starting CGM. After joining Curly Girl groups, I have noticed that the most basic CGM starter kit would be these products. 
Dito sa apat na products na to, usually nagsisimula halos lahat, if not all. With these four products, you are definitely good to go and you should be able to follow the routine with no problems. If you already have these four products, konting additional items na lang, I think yung masasuggest ko. That would be, first, yung shower cap. Kasi a shower cap is important when you are deep conditioning your hair. Well, sa mga videos naman ng mga napanood ko, they just use regular cellophane or plastic. They just put it on their head. And actually, that should be enough uh, in providing heat to your hair and holding your hair while you are waiting 15 to 20 minutes. Pero, I just feel like this is more eco-friendly kasi it's not disposable. You are using the same, the same shower cap once a week and you just, you know, put it aside up until the next time that you use it. Well, you can do the same thing with yung plastic, but I think it, this is just more durable. And, of course, since I have mentioned that it's not really advisable for curlies to wash their hair every day, then one way of preserving your curls, especially at night, would be using a satin or silk hair cap. So I'll show you somewhere here. So that's what I also use um, before going to bed. You know, it looks silly. Uh, it's either you use that or you use a satin or silk pillowcase. The reason behind that is yung pillowcase natin, which is usually made out of cotton, it causes more friction sa hair natin. Therefore, when we wake up in the morning, our curls look messier than it should really be. And if you're feeling a little bougie, then you can also add this to your shower routine. This is a scalp massager. And this is helpful when you want to massage your scalp to promote, you know, circulation, hair growth, and get rid of any product buildup. Although you can definitely just use the tip of your fingers to do so, but other people find it more satisfying when they use this. And if you're a little impatient like me, and you would like to dry your curls faster rather than air drying it. So since I already have an existing hair dryer, just this, I only need an attachment. Now it's kind of tricky finding the right attachment, diffuser attachment for your blow dryer because they would come in different sizes. Some attachments do not fit the current blow dryer that you have. I, I think I found the perfect product and this is something that you can easily attach to most blow dryers sizes. Show you. And it's big. It's like almost half the size of my head. So, kashang kasha yung hair mo dyan. It would initially look like this. Yeah. As you can see, yung hole niya malaki and you can fit most blow dryers in here. You just have to adjust. So, magli depende yung opening niya according to, you know, how you, big you twist it. My arrows papunta sa right. So you have to twist it all the way to the right. Medyo matigas But it works, so. Kailangan lang konting pilit. Ayan. When it's finally, you know, locked na at its um, biggest opening, this is the button that you would push if you want to then, you know, close these gaps. Pero bago may i-push to, kailangan ipasok mo na yung um, uh, blow dryer mo dito. Yung head ng blow dryer mo. Like this. And then I would push this button and it would lock it and according to size me. You can then use it. And this is really handy because I have a portable blow dryer that I feel like is, you know, more travel friendly. And if ever I would eventually want to bring that hair dryer, then I can just simply bring the attachment with me. As you go along, you would realize na the initial starter pack that you have is is kind of costly. It's a little expensive. So, 
then this is when I found out about Coley's um, Coley's milk conditioner so this is a local brand as well it's one gallon and it's only for 250 pesos this is something that you can purchase on Shopee and this is CGA as well or Curly Girl Approved. I'm actually using it right now and I don't really see that much difference as when I was using Young Curls by Zen Nutrients. So I think moving forward after I finish this bottle ng Zen Nutrients, uh, lang Curls by Zen Nutrients, and moving forward I will just be using Young Coley's instead. What I just noticed is the consistency. Yung consistency ng Coley's is a lot lighter than yung Curls by Zen Nutrients. It's also not sticky. It, uh, it doesn't feel heavy sa hair, so which I like. That's why I'm also able to use it as a leave-in conditioner. Shempre, you are a part of the part of a curly group wherein lots of people are posting about their routines, the products that they are using. So most likely, matatempt ka din gamitin or itry yung mga products that they are using. And that's exactly what happened to me. Uh, well, with the Coley's, I'm actually just looking for a cheaper alternative um, for my conditioner. But I found that on the posts on the group. And at the same time, when it comes to stylers, although I feel that gel stylers are i'm already okay with gel stylers but somehow i wanted to also explore a little bit more when it comes to using different stylers so i've read good reviews about yung cantu curl cream curl activator so i bought one but what's important is you should always try to purchase yung my trial size only so that you don't really have to purchase the entire bottle for you to just find out that your hair does not like it or hindi kahiyang. So I bought a small version of itong can do you know, cream activator. I'm not a fan of the coconut smell. I feel like it's a little heavier than yung gel. But I did notice that my curls were like, medyo galit na galit yung curls ko talagang buong buo yung curls ko um, when I use this. So when you use this, you would use the cream first after you squish the condition your hair after wash days. You while it's still damp and soaking wet, you would apply a little bit, just a little bit of the hair cream, or maybe I just put a little bit too much. That's why it felt a little heavy. Pero just a little bit lang down it all. Um, doing the praying hands method. Put it on, apply it on your hair. And then after this, you would put the gel. And when I did that, actually I did notice that my curls were more defined. Although I can still see that my hair was dry. I don't think it had anything to do with the product. It was just my hair. And because my hair was just in transition. But I think this is still a good styler. So I'm gonna play around with it a little bit more, but I am, but I am thankful that I just bought the small one because a small amount really goes a long way. So I have with just this amount, I have all the time to experiment with this. Seeing it, kana rin pala yung different ways that I style my hair. Wow, ways, kala mo daming ways. Well, hindi pa kasi ako handa na ilabas yung hair ko ng ganito sa labas ng ganito lang. I just feel like it's a little, you know, um, hindi pa siya masyado maganda tingnan for me. So, it, because in, in, in person, my hair really, you can really see that I have, you know, dry parts of my hair. So, whenever I would go outside, this is what I usually do to try to style it a little. Well, I think there are only two anyway. So first is yung half pony. So with the help of this, I would take like the the front portion of my uh, the the front. Yeah. Yung harap. Ang ina pa English. No English. Anyway, um, kukunin mo yung itong nakakonsyus din magtagalo. Pero ito, ito na lang. Papakita ko na lang. So. Yeah. 
So this way, it would still, you know, look a little, just a little polished. And hindi masyadong halatang halata yung dry parts ng hair ko, especially sa likod. I will show you what the back looks like on the side. That's it. So at least for now, ito yung lagi kong go-to na style. It looks weird, pero this is the only style that I can know. And the only other style that I also do is just pineapple my hair or like tie it in a bun or pony. Oh, okay, I forgot to say Now that I have learned that um, different materials would tend to make my hair be more frizzy, I realized the need for a silk scrunchie. And I'm trying my best not to disturb the my form, the curls that much. But sometimes, it's a choice. I know it still looks a little wonky, but uh, I think this is okay. Looks like you need to it up. And back. I still think it looks acceptable. So there you go. Two styles. <laughs> and dami ko na contribute. Pero especially when I'm at home, I just like to, you know, let my hair down. Kasi I'm really enjoying, you know, my curls, obviously. So, although they're dry, but I know I'll get there. <laughs> Go healthy curls. I'm eventually going to be experimenting with Denman brush. Well, this is not a Denman brush, but this is a dupe. Uh, and it has four rows. Well, tinanggal ko na ibang rows niya. So I just left four rows, and I feel like this is, you know, the, the best um, number of rows to start with. And uh, yeah, I will be filming the. I will, be, I will definitely be filming when I try using the Denman brush when styling. So let's see, is it gonna give me, you know, bigger curls, tighter curls? We'll see. So that is all I have for today. I hope that you find this video helpful. And if you do, feel free to like, subscribe, and share if you want. And see you on my next video. Bye!